I mean, look at the difference. This looks so much better. I would take somebody a little more seriously if they went to the trouble to have a webcam that outputs this. So if you're a Mac user like me, you're likely accustomed to a few things. Uh, incredible design and build quality, more recently crazy performance with Apple Silicon, great battery life, keyboards, trackpads, the Mac OS experience, etc. All the great things that make a Mac or Mac device Mac. Um, but the one thing that most of these devices have in common is a really crappy webcam. Even recently, even though Apple has made them 1080p and they just, you know, designate a notch for it, they're not great. They suck so much that they encourage you to connect your iPhone via software to your computer to substitute that camera because they just cannot compromise and give you something better. The thing is, some of you probably don't care, and I didn't for the longest time, but I do a lot of video chatting as a content creator and influencer, um, but also as somebody who's looking for work out of my state. Uh, I'm looking to move to New York City in the next six to eight months, so uh, video chatting is because becoming increasingly more important. And I really want better camera quality, but I don't wanna to have to whip out my phone, let alone a professional camera like an A7S or an Alpha Series, whatever, a mirrorless, and hook that up and all that. Um, and that is where the Opal C1 comes in. This is by no means a professional camera. This is by no means you know something that's gonna substitute a mirrorless, but it is an incredible webcam that not only looks great, but functions really, really well and brings you pro looking camera quality without um, any of the compromise, any of the inconvenience involved with using your iPhone or of course a pro camera, which is a chunky, you know, sort of cumbersome device. And also too, for whatever this is worth, I'm not the only creator that really enjoys this camera. Uh, MKBHD, Marquez, Casey Neistat, Saradici, and so many others have really enjoyed this. And uh, I'm just one of them. I was really impressed with the product and they were kind enough to send one over for me to check out. But they didn't just send me one, they sent me the other color variant to unbox in front of you on camera, which we'll do quickly here. So I'm going to do the honors and rip the plastic off. Here we go real quick. So here is the box, beautiful packaging. Here is the white version. This is the first time I've seen it in person. You have this really wonderful magnetic cover. This thing really is designed so well. I love the way it looks in both colors here, but before I touch on this more, let's look at the other components or you know aspects of the box. We got directions and we got this USB-C cable here. There you go, white or you know color match to the device itself. You also have the little uh, mount or whatever you wanna call this. And there you have it, folks. I've already put it on top of my MacBook screen too, even though it's super thin. So you can mount it to pretty much any display you have. Um, like I said, studio display, any regular looking monitor or a MacBook screen, which is super cool. So beyond the unboxing in terms of setup, it's really simple. All you do is plug and play via USB-C as I showed you earlier, and it mounts to pretty much whatever display you have, thick, thin, etc. like a MacBook display, up to a studio display, an LG display like I have is a good middle ground. Um, but yeah, it looks great too. I think I said that, but I mean, it melds so well with Mac hardware. It's not quite that aluminum look, but it has the same sort of design philosophy of being like a piece of furniture that you can look at for a while and not get sick of. That's what the studio display looks like. That's what I think every MacBook looks like. It's understated, but also really well designed and very just nice to look at and also to hold in the hand too. That's important because so many webcams look okay, but don't feel great or they look cheap after a while. While this is definitely not the case. Beyond the unboxing and setup though, let's talk about how this camera actually works. So I'm doing a screen recording with the integrated mic in here, but I'm recording my screen. Um, so you can kind of see what this camera looks like and how you can interact with it. The Opal Composer lives in your menu bar, which is nice. So it's not like a typical app. It's sort of just something you can toggle when you want to very quickly. It's an overlay. So it'll, you know, go over whatever app you're in like Zoom or Safari or whatever you're doing. And here are your controls. Here you have the camera menu, which allows you to turn on the sort of like autofocus or like manual focus. I prefer manual focus it's a little more precise and I'm not really moving too much during a video call so I like to have more control over that you can do screen recording picture-in-picture picture, just screen whatever it's really really simple um, you can control bokeh which is just crazy so you have control over depth of field and I like to have it shallow because that looks really nice and professional and cinematic you can add a logo in the corner your own custom one you can have an overlay you can uh, adjust zoom so you can zoom in and out um, what's really nice is you have sort of a center stage like feature called face lock so it does the exact same thing 
um, which is very nice. And then you can do a little peace sign to turn video off, which is just incredible. You can also, of course, use the physical cap if you are so, you know, suspicious or whatever. You want to make sure you literally don't have anybody looking through your camera nonetheless. Or I digress. Um, you also have your audio menu, which allows you to adjust the gain in the integrated mic, which sounds pretty decent. Let me know what you think. You have the effects menu, which allows you to, you know, turn on touch up. You can, you know, turn on pixelation mode, which is crazy. You can adjust your highlights, your shadows, like you're editing a video. And of course you can adjust some kind of, uh, or these little built-in filters. I like G1, it looks really nice. That's sort of my color grade vibe. Um, and then you have the manual control. So you can adjust ex exposure and brightness, which is nice. So I have like a light happening here. So like, it looked like this before I adjusted it. And then I brought it down, which looks really nice. It's like, I'm lit, my background's not. Um, you can adjust saturation. I like it to be a little bit saturated, but you can up or up that or lower that if you want. You can up contrast if you want. Vibrance, same thing, you know, or just not same thing, but color oriented adjustments. White balance control. So that's like really warm. I'm gonna turn that off because um, I like the way this looks. And then of course, within settings, you can adjust if it, you know, turns on or this application turns on during login or opens during login. Um, toggle face off with a click. You can adjust quality, the way it outputs or what you want to record, anti-banding, low power mode, and you can look for updates here as well. But that's how it works. I'll do something real quick. I want to show you the difference between this camera and the studio display. So I have zoom open here. I'm going to open up photo a booth and just, I mean, look at the difference. I mean, this looks pixelated on the left here. There's no depth of field. It looks so, I mean, it's not the worst I've ever seen, but it's not great. This looks so much better. Um, and yeah, this is what you're paying for. This is the experience. I mean, like this, I would take somebody a little more seriously if they went to the trouble to have a webcam that outputs this, you know, on the right here, I'm not gonna lie. Just my opinion though, I'm just so impressed with the camera quality we're getting here. Well, that was an impressive little demo. Nonetheless, there are two important considerations you have to make about getting this camera. Number one, even though it emulates pro quality and manual control, it is not equivalent one-to-one -to, -one to a pro camera. This is the a7 IV, one of the best hybrid mirrorless cameras you can get from Sony. Uh, it's 10 times the cost of this and you don't even get a lens with it. So it's even more expensive, but this thing is literally designed to you know, live, eat, breathe video and photo. This is a webcam. It's a really good webcam, but it's not going to compare one to one. However, it emulates the quality you get, which is wonderful if you want to directly record video onto your Mac or bring that quality to a web call, which is really important if you want to stand out. Number two, this is not a perfect product. You know, they've had issues with this. This is on version 10 or the composer is on, is on version 10. They're also a small team, but they're committed to making this a better product. It's not perfect like anything, but um, yeah, they are committed to making this better each and every day and they're very, very open to your feedback. But nonetheless, this is a wonderful product. Um, it makes your web calls really, really stand out, at least from how people will perceive you if you're you know, on Zoom or WebEx or FaceTime or whatever. Um, this thing looks so good compared to what you're getting integrated into your Mac or studio display or whatever. And by no means is it a mirrorless camera. You're not buying a replacement. This is not a one-to-one -one copy. It just brings the best aspects of a manual camera to a webcam. It's like a hybrid and you pay for it for sure, but I think it's worth it. And of course, considering what I'm doing, a lot of web calls, a lot of interviews, you know, as a creator and also as an aspiring, you know, job searcher or whatever, you know, as I make my move to the Big Apple, this is going to help me stand out. Uh, and I'm very grateful that um, they sent it over for me to check out. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my link to Opal in the video description. It's a beautiful site just to look at, by the way. And as always, I'm Noah and I will catch you all in the next one.